Yo, right, right, guys, it's Capcom Tom here, and welcome to another episode of FIFA Through the Years. Today, we are going to be looking at the goalkeepers with the most clean sheets under their belt so far this season in their domestic league. So, we'll be looking at the biggest leagues and having a look at the goalkeepers with the most clean sheets. However, you have to remember that I did this on the 11th of November, so if you're watching it in a couple of days' time when some more matches have been played, then they may be all out of sync and incorrect because obviously people get more cleaner sheets and then it sort of ruins everything, I guess. But yeah, if you're wondering, why my voice is so hoarse is because I've got a little bit of man flu nothing to worry about I'll be better in the next couple of days so um, just until then so you know if my voice sounds a little bit hoarse and croaky or it goes all high pitched and uh, out of tune then you know why it's just because I'm a little bit ill anyway if you're looking to buy some ultimate team coins go and check out basilate.com their link will be down in the description a fast cheap and reliable coin service and if you use the discount code tcapgun you'll get 5% off all your purchases so let's dive in so our first player is going to to be De Sanctis from Serie A playing for Roma at the moment and he has eight clean sheets so far the closest to him is Buffon with six and Reina has five but you know De Sanctis is absolutely killing it you can see that he started off at Napoli on FIFA 10 78 rated he slowly got better although he peaked on FIFA 12 where he's actually an 83 base card and uh, yeah he's, he's been an alright keeper I don't particularly like him this year I don't think he's the strongest keeper I used him in a squad recently and to be honest he'd be much better off using the likes of Marchetti who just seems really overpowered but you can see how he's changed from Napoli to uh, to Roma in the FIFA 12 season so that was quite a cool card to see move on and you can see his informs here he's had an 82 and an 83 rated uh, inform on FIFA 11 however he's failed to get any other sort of inform or upgrade or anything like that since FIFA 11 so maybe with his current good form we'll be seeing an informed Sanctus in the next couple of weeks now let's move on to our next play and we're looking at League 1 and the top clean sheeter I don't even know if that's a word I don't really think it is but the man with the most clean sheets is going to be Enyema he actually got an inform this week at this week which we'll actually have a look at and that's probably because of his absolutely amazing form he's got 10 clean sheets so far the closest to him is a guy called Rio who plays for FC Nantes and he's got seven and then Sirigu from PSG has six so you can see how well he's doing plays for Los Lille he's actually the best Nigerian goalkeeper on the game by quite a far in fact there's only two of them so that's not really anything to boast about but still a very good player decent stats on him and you can see his inform here with the 80 diving 85 reflexes 79 handling 75 kicking and 77 positioning wasn't on the game before FIFA 12 that was the first time that he made his way or an appearance on the game next up we have the BPL we're looking at Hugo Lloris he is the man with the most clean sheets and I believe that's um, a very good thing. I mean, Tottenham haven't been scoring as freely as they have done in previous years. I think that the most they've ever scored in a game this season is one. But I may be completely wrong, so do correct me if I am. But he's managed to get seven clean sheets so far. We also have three people tied for second in the BPL with six assists each. And that's Howard, Jaskalainen and Burak from Southampton. So um, you can see there he is a fantastic goalkeeper. Has been, has had loads of informs, which we'll take a look at at the moment. Started off as a base card of 86 went to 84 85 86 and now he is an 84 you can see his informs 89 rated um, card on FIFA 12 or FIFA 10 sorry absolutely crazy stats on that 90 diving 91 reflexes 85 handling 85 positioning and 80 kicking he's had two on FIFA 11 also another 89 rated goal uh, you know card there with even better stats than his FIFA 10 card then he's had two ever since he's had one in FIFA 12 and one in FIFA 13 so those are pretty cool cards both 87 rated moving on to our next player in our next league and it is going to be the Air Divisi and we're looking at a guy called Marsman now he only has one card on the entire game and uh, or on all the years of FIFA and that's this year's card it's a non-rare 68 rated card for FC 20 he's managed to get himself I believe um, five clean sheets now that's tied with our next highest team who have clean sheets and that's Ajax however Ajax have been switching their keeper about but I had a little bit of a struggle to actually find any stats for the air divisi so if it is incorrect then feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section with a link to uh, your source as to who is the highest clean sheeter but this is the guy that um, I found to be the guy with the highest clean sheets next up we have Manuel Neuer from the Bundesliga for FC Bayern Munich now he started off at Schalke on FIFA 10 86 rated card he went 85 went 86 when he went to Bayern Munich 87 and then 
an 86 again this year. To be honest, I think he is probably the best goalkeeper in the world as of now and probably should have a higher rating, to be honest. He is absolutely fantastic. Really good play. He's had plenty of informs. 89 rated card on FIFA 10. He had an 87, 88 and 89 rated card on FIFA 11. Then FIFA 12, he had an 87 and an 80 rate rated man of the match card and then FIFA 13 he also had an 88 rated inform and an 89 rated man of the match card so he has had plenty of informs a very very strong goalkeeper and it surprises me that he's only 86 rated got uh, you know an 86 rated base card this year um, he's tied with I think Casillas and Buffon those are the two others that are the highest rated goalkeepers so it is kind of shocking to see that he is like the same rating as the other two although Buffon in my opinion is pretty good and Casillas is still a great keeper I mean um, you know class is permanent and form is temporary but he is on pretty poor form and they keep putting Diego Lopez in net for Real Madrid so um, kind of an interesting one to look at maybe we'll look at Casillas in the next uh, sort of video and if you've got any ideas as to sort of like videos I can make in the future like for FIFA through the years then please please do put them down in the comment section if you like the look of one of them then thumb it up I don't know if that even works in the new comment section because it's an absolute garbage system but um, yeah if it does then feel free to do it and I'll have a look through it later anyway um, next player is going to be or final player in fact and it is from La Liga and it's going to be Valdez now this is kind of strange because I've never really rated Valdez as a brilliant goalkeeper he's very good I've never seen him as you know a standout goalkeeper and I think he's always been you know protected by a decent Barcelona back line that sort of you know meant made him look better than he probably is but still this season he is doing absolutely fantastic you can't take anything away from the guy he has managed to grab himself uh, let's have a look he's managed to get six um, he's managed to get six clean sheets so far he's actually tied top but I thought because you know he's such a a, dear, a good player and such a big name we thought I thought we'd put him in um, even though he's tying with a guy called Navas from Levante who's also got six then uh, in third joint third is Bravo and Courtois from uh, Atletico Madrid and Real Sociedad so um, yeah we'll have a look at Valdez you can see that he, his highest card ever is an 87 rated card he was 85 for FIFA 11 to FIFA 13 then he's 83 this year which is kind of crazy considering he is actually the highest or the best goalkeeper as of present in La Liga um, but you can see his informs he's got an 88 rated on FIFA 11 and he also had a team of the season last year on FIFA 13 which is his highest rated card ever 89 rating overall which is a pretty good rating you have to admit and uh, it was worth quite a lot so guys I hope you have enjoyed this video, having a look at some of the uh, goalkeepers with the highest number of clean sheets as of this moment. But yeah, um, if you want to drop the video a like, that would be really appreciated. But on that, I'm going to have to stop talking. Thank God my voice is killing me. And I will see you all next time.